are under heat alerts and advisories. And the summer's record-breaking temperatures are showing no signs of letting up. As Jared Hill reports, students are heading back to some steamy classrooms. A scorching late summer heat wave is taking a toll on schools nationwide. Luke was units. He says it's cooler, uh, but still very noisy. They say to bring water, but it doesn't really do much. The heat headed Massachusetts eighth grader Liam McDonald a four day weekend. Schools there cancel classes for the rest of the week. It's good for the kids. The circumstances, it's hard to concentrate and they're hot, they're getting sick. The heat has prompted schools in at least nine states to close or let kids out early this week. In Jacksonville Beach, Florida, the heat is blamed for the death of a two-year-old girl found in a parked vehicle outside of a church. This is a great tragedy. It affects everybody. When we fight, we win! Airport workers in Phoenix have filed an OSHA complaint demanding safe work conditions after this summer's brutal heat wave. I often feel like I'm going to faint and I've caught myself briefly dipping in and out of consciousness while working on the airplanes. And after Phoenix saw a record-breaking 31 straight days of highs at 110 degrees or above this summer, temperatures are again expected to climb back to that level this weekend. Jared Hill, CBS News.